Everton are in talks over the loan of Donny van de Beek of Manchester United. Everton are in talks over a loan move for Donny van de Beek, the midfielder who is surplus to requirements at Manchester United. Van de Beek, 24, could be the first signing of Frank Lampard's tenure as Everton manager with the former Chelsea midfielder expected to be confirmed in the job this afternoon. The Holland head coach Louis van Gaal has been adamant that his players need to be appearing regularly to make the World Cup squad, and van de Beek has struggled for game time since he arrived at Old Trafford in August 2020. United paid £35 million to sign him from Ajax, plus £5 million in add-ons, in 2020. He played 175 first-team games for Ajax, scoring 41 goals and helping them make a surprise run to the 2018 to 19 Champions League semi-final. Everton's Merseyside rivals Liverpool are expected to complete a deal imminently for the Colombia winger Luis Diaz, who has begun his medical for a £37.5 million move from Porto. Jim Moxon, the Liverpool club doctor, and David Woodfine, their director of loan management, have travelled to Argentina, where Colombia play on Tuesday. The medical tests are likely to be split over two days, with Diaz also scheduled to take part in training sessions for the national team. Liverpool have prepared a contract which will run until the summer of 2027 for Diaz, who is set to earn about £90,000 per week. Even if there are no hitches, the 25-year-old is unlikely to be on Merseyside until the end of next week as visa issues need to be resolved. Diaz played for Colombia in a 1-0 defeat by Peru on Friday before travelling to Argentina for Tuesday's game in Córdoba. Liverpool hijacked Tottenham Hotspur's interest in Diaz, who plays on the left wing, on Thursday after Porto agreed to drop their asking price from a guaranteed fee of £50 million. Barcelona have signed the Wolverhampton Wanderers winger Adama Traore, another former target of Tottenham's, on loan for the rest of the season, with a £29 million option to buy the Spain winger. The 26-year-old started his career at the Spanish Giants before leaving for Aston Villa in 2015. Traore joined the Barcelona when he was eight and made his first team debut nine years later before moving to the Premier League where he has represented Aston Villa, Middlesbrough and Wolves, where his contract lasts until summer 2023. Wolves technical director Scott Sellers told the club website, Everyone knows Barcelona is a city and club very close to Adam's heart, so it is a dream move for him. We have also agreed a very healthy option in the deal should Barcelona wish to make the move permanent this summer. Newcastle United have completed the £40 million transfer of the Lions midfielder Bruno Guimara. The Brazil player, 24, completed his medical and signed the paperwork in his homeland in advance of Wednesday's World Cup qualifier against Paraguay. The deal for Guimaraes is expected to cost Newcastle £33.5 million, with a further £6.5 million in add-on. Newcastle have had a £10 million bid for the Brighton Hove Albion defender Dan Byrne rejected by the South Coast Club. The offer, which included add-ons, was the second the Premier League strugglers have made for the 29-year-old. Crystal Palace have had an offer for forward Edin Kedia rejected by Arsenal. Patrick Vieira, the Palace manager, has been pursuing the striker since last summer when it is believed he agreed a transfer fee, but the proposed move collapsed over wages. Nkidia, 22, turned down the offer of a new contract at Arsenal beyond the summer because he wants a guarantee of playing regularly. He has played 51 minutes in the Premier League this season. Mikel Arteta, the Arsenal manager, has been adamant that Nkidia will not be sold this month and is willing to risk Arsenal getting a negligible fee for him if he moves abroad in the summer. He has been linked with clubs in Germany. Palace also hoped to sign Jean-Philippe Matita on a permanent deal before his loan expires in the summer. West Ham United are in talks to sign Duhay Kaledekar, but Marseilles are adamant that they will only consider a sale, not the proposed loan move. The centre-back, 25, was part of Croatia's squad at Euro 2020 and started in their group stage defeat by England. His contract expires in 2023. David Moyes has been searching for a left-footed centre-back to improve the balance of the team, especially if he wants to switch to a wing-back system, but Kaledekar plays for Marseilles on the left side of defence. Burnley's hopes of signing the £8 million-rated Dinamo Zagreb midfielder Mislav Orsic before the transfer window closes tomorrow are over after the Croatian club insisted that he will not be leaving.